some of you have been asking how to install ChatGPT uh, for 3ds Max, so I'm going to walk you through that. You'll go to this GitHub link, <clears throat> you'll go to code, and you'll hit download zip. And once that's downloaded to your computer, you'll right click on that and unzip it, which gives you this here. So you open that, and you'll simply just copy this folder. Ignore these files, they're just GitHub files. You'll copy this folder, and then you'll paste it into your program data. Autodesk applications plugin directory and then you'll relaunch 3ds max if it was Wasn't already uh, you want to make sure it's closed when you put that plugin in there <clears throat> And then relaunch it and once it's relaunched you'll be able to go into customize user interface uh, Depending on where you want to add the tool you can go to toolbars Change this drop down to Joker Martini and then you'll see the tool here Which you can then just drag and drop it out here in the toolbar and then when you click that button it'll launch now, for those of you that need to uh, have an API key, which is everybody uses this tool, you have to make an account on the OpenAI uh, ChatGBT website. And then once you make that account, you can go into your settings and create a key. That key you then copy and you'll paste it into the settings dialog. Uh, I'm not going to open it here because I have my key in there, which I don't want to share, obviously, to everybody. But you'll paste it in there. You'll hit OK. You'll come back to this main dialog and then you can just say create a city block of buildings <clears throat> using boxes with varying heights. <clears throat> now we can hit fetch. That will just um, send our request and return the code. It does not execute it. So you can see here, uh, this is what we sent and this is what we got in return. Um, it copies this code to your clipboard, so if you wanted to quickly start writing a tool, you could uh, open this and immediately hit paste. You don't have to manually copy this stuff out, um, so that's a, a nice, quick way to work on stuff. And then what the clear button does is it clears this history. This is actually the conversation you're having with the bot, which can be useful if you want to start building tools. You can kind of start with something simple and continue that conversation of building the script to be larger and larger. If you hit execute, that's going to fetch the command and immediately execute it in 3ds Max. It's not going to just put that code there. So you can see now we have a city block. Again, the, the code is automatically put into our clipboard. Now, for whatever reason, if you want to change this to Python, you can go ahead and change this drop down. Um, I usually will clear the history uh, to start a new conversation. And then I'll say uh, execute again. <clears throat> and we'll see what happens here. It might take a second. Python stuff isn't always as successful as the Mac script, so I tend to suggest for those of you using this to stay with using the Mac script side. Um, Python is still relatively new, especially to 3ds Max. Um, so you can see this was not as successful. But if you know Python and how to script and code, you could easily go in here and probably just modify a few things and get it up and running. Um, again, I would just stay with the Mac script. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any feedback. Thanks.